Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find out how to calculate the variance for continuous series. Sometimes continuous series, we will be writing it as grouped series. Okay, so now grouped frequency distribution, okay, or grouped series, okay, grouped series also. So how to find out for continuous series. So what is continuous series? So when it is given with a class interval like this, okay, so now like this, the class interval is given and the frequency is also given. So whenever it is given like this, we are, we are calling it as the continuous series. Okay, so now we are going to use three formulas here. Okay, so one is for direct method, another one is for shortcut method, another one is for the step deviation method. Uh, step deviation method is not uh, so popular here. So all these three examples, we are uh, taking the given uh, uh, sum as the population. Okay, now whenever, uh, if it is a population, I will denote it by sigma square. Okay, when it is a sample, I will be denoting, see population denoted by sigma square, sample denoted by S square. The only difference is in the denominator, I will put N minus one, for sample, I'll put N for the population. And one more thing you have to note it here, the mean you have to write as mu. Okay, so now sometimes for clarity, we will be writing it as X bar itself here for population also. See, this is a formula. Originally, if I want to write it, I'll write like this. Sigma F into X minus mu divided by uh, N will be written here. Okay, now we are going to omit this. We will be writing it as sigma f x minus x bar the whole square. When n is in the denominator, take it as a population and denote it by sigma. When n minus 1, I will write it as s square. Okay, now one more point you have to note here. This is h square. Multiply with h square in the step deviation method. Previously, mean, median, mode and all we have seen we will be multiplying only with h here. Okay, now if it comes inside the square root, then it is into H, okay, now always remember for clarity, you remember I am going to multiply by H square. There are two points only you have to remember. We'll quickly move on how to calculate in all the three methods for the variance for the continuous series. Okay, first of all, what I have to write is whatever is given here, I'm going to write it as it is in class interval, zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. For clarity, I have made it as a very small sum for you to understand. And then if I'm writing as it is, then I'm going to find out the mid-dex, how to calculate the mid-dex. Okay, now this class boundaries are there, add the class boundaries and divide it by two. So zero plus 10, divide by two, which will give you 10 by two, it is five. That's what I'm going to write it here as the midpoint, okay? Now, 10 plus 20 divided by two will give you 15 here, right? Now, 20 plus 30 divided by two will give you 25. 30 plus 40 divided by two will give you 35. Now, once this is over, I'm going to multiply with F and X. I'm going to multiply two into five, it is 10 here, right? 3 into 15 it is 45, 4 into 25 will give you 100, and 1 into 35, which gives you 35. Then what I'm going to do here is x minus x bar is given, right? Now, how to find out x bar here, x bar, or I'll take it as mu, okay? So for clarity, you take x bar itself, it is mean, okay? Mean is sigma fx by sigma f. If you do not know how to calculate the mean, just kindly uh, visit our uh, YouTube channel. There we have made a video how to find out the mean. I have put all the uh, uh, links in the description box. You can visit and then you can come back here after the step. So now x is for me, which x I should take? The mid x only. So phi, I'm taking it here. Phi I'm writing. What is my x bar? I have to find it out. So to find out x bar, I have to total this fx and f here. You okay, know, f I have totaled, fx I have totaled here. I'm going to add it here. Okay, it should be 190. Okay, so if I add, right, 190 divided by 10 is 19. So that 19 only I'm subtracting here. So now this is 19 is coming. So mid x is 5 minus 19, which gives you minus 14. Here, 15 minus 19, which gives you 4. Okay, 15 minus 19, which gives you minus 40. Okay, right, then 25 minus uh, 19, which gives you 6. 35 minus, uh, this 19 will give you 60. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to square it. I am going to square it, this one. Now, this four, 
I am multiplying it here. Six I am multiplying it here. Then sixteen I am multiplying. Right here. Okay. See how to multiply fourteen into fourteen because squaring is fourteen into fourteen, four into fourteen, six four into four. So six into six, sixteen into sixteen, which gives you here. Now I am multiplying this particular column with the column which says f here. Okay, f into this column. So two into see here two into one ninety six. I am multiplying it here, writing three ninety two. 3 into 69 I'm multiplying and 48, 4 into 36 I'm multiplying and 144, 1 into 16, which gives you 256. I'm going to find out the total for this. And what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to use a formula sigma square is equal to sigma f x minus x bar whole square divided by n. So whenever I say n, it is nothing but sigma f here. Okay, I'm going to multiply. Just write it here, 840, take from here, then 10 is sigma f here, I'm going to substitute, then 84 is my value. So now this is how we calculated using the direct method. So how to calculate using the shortcut method or the assumed mean method here, right? So now what I'm going to do is here, I am just, as usual, I'm finding the mid x here, mid x, mid x, mid x, mid x. Then I'm going to take the value which is little bit in the middle of this column as my A value. See, for example, 15, I have taken it as the A value. I'm going to subtract it here. So five minus 15, which will give you. So, so from this five, I am subtracting 15. So subtracting 15, subtracting 15, subtracting 15. So that's what I'm going to write it in this column. So 15 minus 15, which gives you zero. 25 minus 15, which will give you 10, 35 minus. 15, which gives you 20. Then I'm going to square this here. So it is 100. Note down the sign here. It should be positive. 0, 100, then 400. Then F and D. What is F? 2 and D. So note down the sign here. So minus 20, 3 into 0, 0, 4 into 10, 40, 1 into 20, that is 20. Then F, this F value and this d square value, I'm going to multiply, I will write it here, okay? So now, what is this f2? What is this? This is 200, three into, so I'm going to round it so that you'll understand. So two into 100, three into zero, four into 100 here, okay? Four into 100, then here one into 400 will give you 400, I'm going to total it. So this one, f column, I'm totaling it, then, uh, FD column, I'm totaling it. FD square, I'm totaling it. I'm going to substitute in the formula. Okay, very simple one. So FD square is 1000 divided by 10. This is FD is 40 here. Then by 10 here, I'm going to substitute. I'm going to calculate this. Okay, this goes, this goes 100. Now this goes, this goes, and four square is 16. So I'll be getting 84 as my answer. This is calculating variance in the shortcut method. The similar method, what I'm going to do is here, here 10, 10, 20 is here. I'm going to divide this by 10. So I'll call this as H. I'm using a step deviation method. So this will become minus one, zero, one, and two. That is the, that these values will be a smaller value. So that's called the step deviation method. So we'll move on to the step deviation method. Similarly, I'm going to find out the mid x here. I'm going to find out, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a number to divide this. Okay, now as usual, I'm going to have this 15 as my uh, value here. Now in the previous uh, thing, if you see, okay. So if you see here, I'm getting 10, 10. See here, I'm getting 10 here. I'm getting uh, 10 here, I'm getting 20. So common number, I'm going to divide it by 10. You can, see, sometimes people will say, take this difference, 10 to 20, you'll take what's the difference. What if it is given as zero to nine? So it is a little bit complicated. So don't follow that anyway. So this is the number you are choosing so that if you divide it, you are this column, this column, the number should be less so that it should be common one for all the number, okay? You can choose five also because whatever the number we are doing, we are multiplying in the last step, okay? Right, so here, this one is fine. So we have calculated here. Now, five minus 15 is 10, 10 divided by 10 is minus one, okay? This is the calculation I'm doing it here. Once again, you see in the top, five minus 15 divided by 10, okay? That's what I'm doing, so 
minus 10 by 10, which gives you minus 1. Similarly, I'm calculating for this one, 15 minus 15, 0 divided by 10, 0. 25 minus 15, 10 divided by 10 will be 1 here and 35, so similar value. Now I'm going to square it here, square, 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 right? Then F and D I'm going to multiply as usual, just like a previous one, F and D here, here, here. Multiplying F D square, I'm going to multiply. What is this? This column with this D square column. So two into one, which gives you two here, three into one. You must be very careful while multiplying the last column, right? So three into zero will give you zero. This four into one, which gives you four, then one into four, which gives you four. I'm going to total this column and this column and this column. I'm going to substitute in the formula, very simple formula. So variance, sigma fd squared divided by n, here n denotes sigma f here. So 10, okay, sigma d squared, I'm taking it as 10. n will be also 10, then minus fd is 44 four here divided by 10. So this gives you, this gives you this 10 squared, where from this is coming? So I have divided this by 10. So I'm putting 10 square. If I am dividing it by five, I'll put five square. When I'm dividing it by two, I put two square here. So H square, you have to remember. Okay, so now one, so calculate one, 0 0.4 will give you fourth square is equal to 0 0.16 here. One minus this which gives you 0.84, I'm going to multiply by 100, where from this 100 is coming, 10 square is 100, so two digits, okay? So I'm going to write this 84 as my answer, okay? This is how we will calculate variance in the, this uh, shortcut method, instead of shortcut method, you can have this as the step deviation method, okay? Now, step deviation method, okay? Deviation method. This is called step deviation method. Okay, so less popular. Okay, so I would suggest not to go for the step deviation method. You can go always with the uh, the shortcut method. That will be easy for you to uh, do it instead of dividing this and all. Okay, so now thank you very much for watching this. Have a good day. So kindly subscribe to my channel and comment if you have any queries. Thank you very much.